introducing Diablo, the demon who appeared out of nowhere. It seems he found Rimuru by watching over the mask that Shizu was wearing, hoping to serve him someday by peeking at the opportunity from the spiritual world. Although he performs an excellent job as Rimuru's second secretary after Shin, there were times when he made serious mistakes. This video will introduce Diablo's characteristics and the mistakes he has made so far. I will also explain the reasons for his obsession with Rimuru, so please enjoy the video till the end. Diablo's Personalities The Primordial Black is a powerful figure who once stood shoulder to shoulder with the same Primordial Demon, the Demon Lord Guy. Guy Crimson has reigned as the strongest Demon Lord for thousands of years, which means that the Primordial Black must possess quite high abilities. This demon was one of the demons summoned by Rimuru during his evolution to the Awakened Demon Lord, offering the remains of the remaining soldiers as sacrifices. As Rimuru was sleepy from his evolution, he summoned the demon with words like I have prepared food for you, as if he was calling a dog, thinking that probably a strange one would respond to such words. Indeed, a strange one appeared and this demon, who would not return afterwards, became his subordinate. Diablo is polite but he's strict with anyone who doesn't serve Rimuru and doesn't show kindness to other primordials. However, he's very nice to Rimuru, admiring him greatly for becoming a demon lord. He even seems sad when told to leave. When Rimuru's subordinate, Sion, was brought back to life, Diablo suggested using two greater demons to help Rimuru, who seemed low on magicules. When these two demons were absorbed, Diablo seemed envious of them, showing a bit of his odd side. By the way, when Rimuru first summoned Diablo, his kind was known as an archdemon. But when Rimuru, who had become a demon lord, gave him a name, Diablo evolved into a demon peer. This change used up half of Rimuru's magicules, which had grown a lot by becoming an awakened demon lord, showing how much potential Diablo has. After being summoned, Diablo's first fight was with Raisin, a very good sorcerer who many kings were careful of. This kind of battle between the powerful on the ground and Diablo has occurred on other occasions as well, such as in the Battle of Clerics of the Seven Luminaries, and a pattern has existed where by the time the identity of Diablo is realized, it is already too late. It's a bit sad, but they brought it upon themselves by underestimating their opponent. Diablo's Power Diablo possesses two unique skills, Tempter and Great Weissman. Tempter is a skill that allows, in simple terms, the control of life and death of those who have submitted, akin to Rimru's Merciless. Great Weissman, on the other hand, has a similar nature to Rimru's Great Sage, being a versatile skill that enables the use of thought acceleration and all of creation. The integration and evolution of these two unique skills form the ultimate skill Lord of Temptation, Azazel. Regarding the acquisition of this ultimate skill, Diablo, originally, did not seem to desire such power. That's because in the past, Guy bragged about his ultimate skill, and Diablo felt upset about gaining it afterward. However, as Rimuru's subordinates became stronger day by day, Diablo accepted the acquisition of the ultimate skill, thinking he could become more useful to Rimuru by becoming stronger himself. Yet, during this process, with the help of Seal, he managed to brag about gaining power from Lord Rimuru. Lord of Temptation possesses the abilities of both the unique skills Tempter and Great Weissman, further enhanced, with excellent versatility, enabling constant activation of multi-dimensional barrier, thought acceleration, and space-time manipulation. Its most notable feature is the highly enhanced mental control ability. Diablo, who acquired this ultimate skill, is considered one of the top three strongest subordinates along with Benimaru and Zijin, and is said to be the strongest among them. As this was reflected in Rimru's words, it is most likely correct. So, Diablo, Besides having the demon's special resistance to physical attacks, gain abilities to ignore pain and mental attacks each time he evolved. This made his defense super tough, so most attacks don't work on him. Even though Diablo held back from getting stronger to make his fights more enjoyable, he seemed to know something about stopping time after watching Guy and Kronoa fight. He may have been thinking about how to deal with time stoppage from that point on. Diablo has done a lot in the story and will keep serving Rimuru as the strongest demon. Diablo's Wish Diablo is a demon who is indiscriminate when it comes to anything involving Rimuru. Demons as a race seem to value contracts and prefer the strong, making them a serious race with a desire to be recognized by their masters based on their power. However, 
If a summoner violates a contract or summons a demon far beyond their capacity, they could potentially bring about a terrible disaster. In Diablo's case, for some reason, he seems to enjoy caring for Rimru, such as bringing him tea, but also happily engages in battle when ordered. He is adept at manipulating human emotions and leveraging any situation, yet when matters involve Rimru, Diablo tends to get carried away, which can sometimes lead to mistakes. Let's quickly delve into some of those episodes. Outpaced by Bera. Diablo wanted to respond to Rimru's demon summoning. Although the demon summoning at the Dwelling of the Spirits is depicted quite briefly in the anime, Rimru seemed to be diligently crafting a golem as a reward for Ramirez. Rimru was summoning a greater demon to incarnate it there, but what appeared was another demon, a servant of the black color. Diablo apparently intended to respond to that summoning but couldn't appear because he happened not to be there. Jealous of the demon who manifested before Rimru ahead of him, Diablo contemplated killing Beretta. However, Beretta explained that its body was crafted by Rimru and shouldn't be harmed, and managed to persuade Diablo. Beretta's shrewdness in this regard is truly impressive. Of course, had Diablo responded to Rimru's summoning at that point, he would have ended up serving Ramirez for a hundred years, so it might have been a good thing he didn't rush in. But the question remains, why was Diablo there? It might be that he was dealing with Venom, who had been persistently challenging him. Diablo's Rumors Diablo was dealing with the wizard, Rama. Assigning Diablo to handle the major role of dealing with the powerful Falmouth and Western Holy Church was a big responsibility for Tempest. Diablo was noticeably shocked as he couldn't be near Rimru. It was insane for Rimru to assign a newcomer to negotiate between nations, but Diablo seemed capable of handling it. Diablo used his unique skill tempter on the three captives, limiting their free will so that if they violated orders, he would know. First, he scared them by showing the grotesque form of the king in the palace. Further, he demonstrated the presence of the storm dragon Veldora in Tempest and left for Tempest after outrageous negotiations. Diablo was preparing to welcome Rimru, who had returned from the demon lord's banquet, Walpurgis. Diablo's condition divided the kingdom of Falmouth, and even the lord of wisdom seemed convinced of the demon's shrewdness. However, he was outed as a demon by clerics of the seven luminaries during the negotiations framed as the murderer of Archbishop Raheim, and this ultimately lowered Rimru's trust. Diablo was down due to his mistake or the enemy's scheme, but with Sion and Shuna's encouragement, he recovered and cleared his own name. If he had done his job rather than returning to Rimru quickly, he might not have made that mistake. Attitude towards Guy In the midst of a certain deathmatch, Diablo was the only one wary of Demon Lord Guy's existence. When Guy revealed his form to Diablo, he provocatively said, Lord Rimru's plan surpasses yours. Diablo, who had previously been reluctant to evolve, had evolved and become a follower, which made Guy wary of Rimru's abnormality. Still, Diablo proudly kept boasting about how much more dangerous Rimru was. Guy wanted to maintain balance in the world entrusted to him by the Star King Dragon Veldanava, but concluded he needed to speak directly to Demon Lord Rimru, who had apparently named the three primordial demons and even more. As Rimru and the others were organizing information in Tempest after the deathmatch, Demon Lord Guy suddenly invaded. But Diablo, seeing Guy, sent him away with a disgusted expression and shut the door. Diablo's bold attitude towards Guy, the most arrogant of the Demon Lords, was surprising even to Luminous and Leon who were there. However, when the three devil girls who sensed Guy's presence appeared and it was revealed that Rimru had named them, Rimru's actions were even more criticized. Confession of Intentions Rimru, enraged by the war with the Eastern Empire, created the Demon Summoning Gate. He summons 600 demons who have a connection with him. Firstly, he evolves the three devil girls and orders them to slaughter the enemy. The demons, which evolved in response to Rimru's anger, were then assigned roles under Benimaru's command. However, Diablo, while ordering his subordinates to follow Benimaru's instructions, seemed to be planning to admire the brave figure of Rimru, who is seriously preparing to fight. After the demons dispersed, Ultima, who was curious, asked, What will Diablo do? Diablo tried to dodge the question, but he was defeated by Ultima's words. Lord Rimru said that information sharing is important. In response, he confessed honestly to his noble mission of watching over Lord Rimru. 
Ultima and Kara were completely unconvinced, but they agreed to stand their ground, thrilled about the upcoming rampage. Perhaps Diablo is vulnerable to hearsay such as it seems Lord Rimru said this, given that he absolutely obeys Rimru's words. Used by Rain Once, Rain and Diablo had a hostile relationship, to the point where they had battles that could lead to murder. Primordial demons do not perish, so even a death battle might be considered a sibling quarrel. Later, Rain learned of Rimru's greatness and began to resonate with Diablo. However, Rain, who has a youngest child temperament, is a creature that behaves in a way that naturally places herself in a superior position. She planned to control Diablo by being able to draw Rimru's picture well. Rain, who was originally a skilled cook and able to do anything skillfully, improved her painting skills more than expected, and it began to circulate. Even Solway's investigation could not pin down the origin of the picture, and the acquisition route seemed extremely confused. However, Rain caused a scandal and unnaturally defended by Diablo, the connection between the two started to be suspected. Unable to lie to Rimru, Diablo readily confessed that he had given liquor to Rain in return for receiving paintings. All of Diablo's paintings were confiscated by Solway's house search, and Diablo was shocked and collapsed. Dealing with the stopped world Rimru and Diablo, who confronted Michael. Despite being on guard, Diablo was defeated in an instant and became utterly immobile. Diablo had considered the possibility of needing to attack and defend in the stopped world after the fight with Guy and Cronoa, but he hadn't learned it and was easily defeated. Perhaps Diablo had some understanding of time stoppage from Guy and Veldzard's battle, but he hadn't learned it because he didn't plan to fight either of them and because there would be opponents who could move without problems even if Diablo could handle it. However, Considering that becoming stronger to be useful to Rimru was a necessity, this might be seen as a mistake by Diablo. Diablo, who was defeated by Michael, had a defensive barrier in place and was able to get up quickly. However, he ended up retreating with the other subordinates and Leon. Afterwards, Diablo was depressed, but it seems like he intends to cover this mistake by teaching Solway and Ultima about how to move in the stop world. The reason Diablo serves Rimru Diablo's dialogue when he was summoned is still largely shrouded in mystery. While the details remain unclear, there's a fascinating tale told by Ramirus in the web version. In nothingness power finds its fill. This is the Holy Spirit, the source of sheer existence. Within it, two great spirits of light and darkness arose. It was the moment the world was born. From these great spirits of light and darkness, seven angels of origin and seven primordial demons were born. Rimru, having acquired the Demon Lord Seed, is steadily ascending as a Demon Lord, gradually increasing his power as a being of darkness. However, at the same time, the autonomous skill, the Great Sage, has evolved into Raphael, and has been named Seal, seemingly approaching the nature of the light side, reminiscent of a great spirit of light. At the time of summoning Diablo, Rimru is in the stage of becoming a Demon Lord, and is a being with sinful abilities, such as gluttony. Furthermore, before Rimru became a demon lord, his body underwent peculiar changes, which, in the novel version, were revealed to be flickering in red, blue, yellow, green, purple, white, and black. These seven colors remind us of the primordial demons, hence there's likely a deep connection between these beings and Rimru. Also, it is said that the primordials unconditionally become subordinate to those who crush their nucleic hearts. Hence, there is a possibility that Diablo's reason for worshipping Rimru is because he was defeated by Rimru in the past. In other words, there's a possibility that Diablo is attracted to the soul similar to Rimru's, which defeated Diablo in the past. This is because, in the story, true dragon and primordials are seen to judge others based on their souls. As for Velbrant, it was not a matter of inheriting memories from Rudra and Masayuki, but a matter of judging by whether the souls are identical. This aspect was delved deeper into in the 17th volume of the novel. However, Primordials and True Dragon live through an extraordinarily long time, and it's doubtful whether they can see through any soul. Even Velbrin needed the ultimate skill Uriel, Lord of Oath that is tied to Rudra's soul in order to find it. Forming relationships through naming also seems to be effective for seeing through one's true nature. For example, Rigurd, Ranga, and Haruna who received names from Rimru and thus established a relationship, could easily see through his true identity even when his appearance changed. 
Valdanava has directly named some in the past, including Ramiris and Seven Angels of Origin, but many have fallen. According to Dino, there's not a single decent original Seven Angels left now. Therefore, even when looking at Rimru, they may only feel a vague sense of nostalgia. It may be fair to consider that the relationship was not strong enough to see through his true identity compared to the connection between Diablo and Rimru. Moreover, if Rimru were someone with the same soul as Veldanava, Guy would have been defeated by Rimru, but the master-servant relationship was quickly dissolved. Since Veldanava and Guy decided to have a relationship as friends, it can be considered that there was no need for Guy to be subordinated to Rimru now. Or perhaps Verdanava preferred a flat relationship with Guy because he was annoyed with the forced servitude caused by his ultimate ability, Michael, the Lord of Justice. Therefore, it would seem that even if Guy and Rimru had met at the Walpurgis, Guy could not have judged Rimru, who was enjoying life as a different slime, to be identical to someone else. From this point of view, it seems natural that Diablo, who was defeated by an entity with the same soul as Rimru in the past, would want to serve him across time and it makes sense that Rimru could easily damage Diablo's nucleic heart. This is purely speculative, but if the three devil girls had witnessed a scene long ago when Veldanava defeated a primordial black and felt refreshed, it might have also been the reason they wanted to serve Rimru. What do you think? I've introduced Diablo's characteristics, the mistakes he made, and the reasons why he wanted to serve Rimru. There seems to be some deep reason for his obsession with Rimru. I'm eagerly waiting for the day when Diablo's past is illustrated. I'll continue to conduct research to enjoy Tenshura on this channel, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.